Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel Geography with Joy. This is Suva Lakshmi. Today we are going to discuss about the annual distribution of rainfall in India. Please subscribe my channel and like and share my video. It will help me to serve you better. Let's go into the class now. Annual distribution of rainfall. Agriculture forms the backbone of the Indian economy, where the temperature conditions are ideal enough to grow various crops. It is the availability of water that determines the agricultural pattern of crops and their productivity. Therefore, the total annual rainfall and number of rainy months of an area are very significant for the two crop growing seasons of India. They are Ravi and Kharif. Agriculture is the backbone of India's economy. Rainfall occurring over India during summer monsoon season significantly affect the agricultural production of the country by providing water for the two main crop growing seasons, those are Kharif and Rabi. Variations in the monsoon rainfall affect the total food grain yield of India and also the country's economy, which largely depends on agriculture. Factors determining the distribution of rainfall. The distribution of rainfall is determined by the following factors. They are the pressure conditions and direction of relief fissures, the direction of winds bearing moisture, and the cyclonic depression determined by pressure gradient. We had discussed about all these factors in detail in our previous classes on climate of India. Let's have a look at the factors that determine the distribution of rainfall with the pictorial support, the pressure conditions and the direction of relief fissures. The direction of the winds bearing moisture and the cyclonic depression determined by pressure gradient. Rainfall regions. India can be divided into four rainfall regions. First, the areas with rainfall over 200 cm or heavy rainfall region. This region experiences more than 200 cm of rainfall annually and includes the following areas. The windward side of the Western Ghats, which includes the Western Coastal Plains and the slopes of the Western Ghats. The Meghalaya hills include Garu, Khasi and Jayantia and the southern slopes of the eastern Himalayas. Mausindram, situated 16 km away from Cherapunji in Meghalaya, receives the highest annual rainfall in the world. And the states are in the north. Meghalaya, Assam, West Bank and Arunachal Pradesh which receive rainfall over 200 cm per annum. The states in the south are Western Coastal Plains of Kerala, Maharashtra, Goa and Karnataka. Why? A regular rain pattern is usually vital to healthy plants 
too much or too little rainfall can be harmful, even devastating to crops. Drought can kill crops and increase erosion, while overly wet weather can cause harmful fungus growth. Areas with 100 to 200 cm of rainfall or moderate rainfall region. This region receives rainfall ranging from 100 to 200 cm per annum. The following areas are included in this region. Northern part of Andhra Pradesh and Telangana and southern part of Tamil Nadu. Middle Ganga Valley, some portion of the Western Ghats and Eastern Maharashtra. And the states in the north are Bihar, West Bengal and Madhya Pradesh which are receiving around 100 to 200 centimeter of rainfall per annum. The states in the south are Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh and Orissa. The unique geographical features of the Indian subcontinent along with associated atmospheric, oceanic and geographical factors influence the behavior of the monsoon because of its effect on agriculture, on flora and fauna and on the climates of nations such as Bangladesh, Bhutan, Nepal, Pakistan and Sri Lanka among other economic, social and environmental effects, the monsoon is one of the most anticipated, tracked and studied weather phenomena in the whole South Asia. It has a significant effect on the overall well-being of residents. Areas with 50 to 100 centimeter of rainfall or low rainfall region. The rainfall in this region is scarce, varying from 50 to 100 centimeter per annum. The areas of scanty rainfall are in the north, upper Ganga Valley and eastern Rajasthan and in the south parts of Deccan Plateau comprising of the regions of Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. And the states in the north are parts of Punjab, Haryana and Kashmir with a very short rainy season. States in the south are Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Tamil Nadu and Karnataka with 50 to 100 centimeter of rainfall per annum. Areas with less than 50 centimeter of rainfall or scanty rainfall region. These areas get least rainfall, that is less than 50 centimeter annually. Desert and semi-desert areas are included in this. The following areas come under this region. In the north, western Rajasthan, southern Punjab and northernmost part of Kashmir. And in the south, the rain shadow regions of the western Ghats lie in the Deccan Plateau. Have a look at the map. It is showing the annual average distribution of rainfall of the country. Different shades of colors are used to show the variation of rainfall received. 
very dark color is used to show the received rainfall above 200 cm and the states are Meghalaya, Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, West Bengal and Western Coastal Plains. 100 to 200 cm of rainfall received in Bihar, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra and Odisha. 50 to 100 centimeter of rainfall received in parts of Punjab, Haryana, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Tamil Nadu and Karnataka and less than 50 centimeter of rainfall in the western parts of Rajasthan and the rain shadow area of Deccan Plateau. Features of rainfall. The main features of the rainfall in India are there is rainfall over three months and the rest of the year is mostly dry. 70% of annual rainfall occurs in the rainy season. The rains are mainly of relief type. The windward slopes of the mountains get more rainfall than the leeward side. Only a small portion of the rainfall is received from sources other than the monsoon like cyclonic rainfall and convectional rainfall. The quantity and the time of occurrence of rainfall cannot be predicted as the rainfall is erratic. It is because of this uncertainty that sometimes there are floods and sometimes droughts. India has an agrarian economy dependent on rainfall. As such, rainfall affects the economy of the country. This is the end of the topic on climate of India. I have completed the whole topic by using four videos. Hope you have understood and enjoyed my classes. We will continue our journey with Geography with Joy with another interesting topic on soil resources. In the meantime, you can enjoy my previous videos which have already been uploaded on YouTube. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like and share my video so that we can reach the maximum number of viewers and they can take the benefit of the classes. Stay connected. Thanks for watching. See you in my next class. Till then, take care and have a nice day.